had said your suggestions to him is just the touch of God's body. Oh, and why is that? I put my ear to the ground and found someone who may know the location of the Koinor diamond. Excellent. Heister, my favorite. A man by the name of Cornelius Toti Buckley. Vicious Not with the royal jeweler this evening. It's a shame to drink alone. Whatever it is you want from me, I'm not interested. What I am interested in is ordering another pint. I'll tell you what. If I can outdrink you, you tell me where the famous Kohinoor diamond is located. <laughs> you think you can drink me under the table? That's a lot What's to wager that? on a losing battle. I'll take that as an accepted challenge then. Barkeep, two pints over here. Oi, my God! What happened last night? Well, I'll never make it back to the train in this state. I'll have to try to remember what happened. I know I was at a pub, but which one? Ah, you survived the night, I see. I wasn't sure what would become of you. I'd seen the last of you when you sauntered off to that shooting competition. The name of the game is... Shoot the bottle? Precisely. Can you do it? Can you tell me where the diamond is? You have to beat me at this first. Good shot. Better than I ever would have guessed. 
We're done with this pub, but not done for the night. On to the bricklayer's arms with you, Johnny boy. Follow me. It's Jacob. Did you see that? Who did that? Who did what? Never mind, Cornelius. Just tell me where the diamond is. Someone spilled it. Some bastard spilled my beer. Listen. Beer. Fine. I'll find the fool that did this. That was a near thing. I was talking to that yarn spinning oaf, Dickens, when I turned back to my drink, and it's all over the place. I bet you good money those evil blighters did this. Someone's drink? Why would I ever do such a nasty thing? Sarge. Dwindling in number, but absolute terrors in this particular neighborhood. Well, what about him? I hate those bastards. They love to terrorise me. You need to do something about them. The pettiest thing someone can do, if you ask me. You have to have one ugly personality to do that, you do. One for the books, or so I heard. Lots of sweat, blood and tears last night. Those blighters can put on quite a show. Walk away with full pockets from those games they do. You've got the wrong man. I haven't played a game of cards since the dog's age. <laughs> Last night's game? Why, I won that fair and square. If Cornelius is still going on about that, he deserves a kick in the mouth. His money is mine and there's nothing he can do about it. I have a confession to make. I love men in uniform. They look so very clean. My left leg was blown straight off by a Russian cannonball. There he is! The only good rook is one bacon of pie! After you've shot it into the wall! This is a nice teeth! Enjoy! Stop me! Oh no! We better get out of here before they start asking for more. Oh, 
Well, this is a bit of frightening now, wasn't it? Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. None of that now. Come, let's get you home. I don't think I can stand. You must be joking. Joseph, I'm so glad to have a friend to join me. You're the nitwit from the pub! Let's make them sorry for poking their nose in the wrong place. <laughs> We should do this every night. Are you still talking? I think I overdid it tonight. Oh well, I'll sleep it off. This is my place. You're a good drinker, you know. You might be better than me. I am. And never you forget it. Good night, then. Julia! But wait... At least I know where to find him. Where is that button fool? you get up here? I walked you home. Jacob? Finally! Now tell me, where is the bloody diamond? Does this technically count as winning? All right, all right. It's in the Tower of London. Surprise! It's being held there until tonight's gala finishes, and then it will be shipped back to the royal jeweler for another cut. Many thanks. Buttons? Now hold on right there. Thank <sighs> you. 